Hi, um, I thought I'd show you my latest painting, uh, which is a pandemic portrait. It sort of uh, expresses the stark uh, reality that everyone is in right now. And it, uh, it, uh, it inspired me to uh, think about a dream that I'd had years ago, and uh, it was an image and uh, I painted a painting of it, and I'd like to show it to you. It's um, a vision, an image of the valley of the shadow of death. And right now, with this pandemic, we're all really walking through this valley of the shadow of death. Uh, but God tells us that uh, in Psalm 91, that um, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And um, I thought about that, and it, it goes on further in the Psalm to say that God will tuck us under his feathers, under his wings, and protect us there. Now, I, I realize that all of us uh, at some point or another are going to die um, unless Christ comes before we do. Uh, so this is, uh, this is just a few thoughts on that. Uh, Jesus tells us in John 14 uh, to let not our hearts be troubled. If we believe in God, believe also in him. And um, so this gives us uh, peace and hope uh, in that uh, he's gone before us. He'll make a way for us. Uh, and there's a place for us. He says in Fort John 14, I go to uh, prepare a place for you that where I am, you should be also. And I, I, uh, I want you to um, uh, look at maybe Psalm uh, 23, it says, um, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his, his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I, I just wanted, wanted, uh, wanted you to think of those words. Um, his anointing of our heads with oil, that's the Holy Spirit. That's the comforter that Jesus said he would send to comfort us, uh, to keep us in perfect peace, even though we walk through this valley that the whole world is walking through at the moment. In a way, it's, it's probably a good thing because uh, it might help us to prepare uh, for that eternal city uh, the city whose maker is God. The cross is a hard symbol, and this one in the painting is made out of iron. Uh, it's, a, it's a stumbling block for some who have difficulty believing in the resurrection of Christ. But uh, it's a cross that we all have to come to sooner or later in our lives. And uh, there's peace at the cross. There's healing. And there's joy. I know some people have lost loved ones. And, uh, you know, the Bible says to comfort one another with these words that we will meet them. In Thessalonians 4, it says we will meet them in the uh, time when Christ comes to take us home. So I just bless you with these words. God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. And uh, help you to seek the comfort of his Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.